Since 1860, the Louisville Water Company has provided high quality drinking water to our communities. Today, Louisville Water Company provides water to over 850,000 people in the Louisville metro area. Let's take a closer look at how they deliver superior quality drinking water to all those folks. six tries to get Louisville Water Company. It started back in 1832 and no one, no one wanted a water utility. You had a well, you could drink water for free, but they didn't know that well water was making them sick. Louisville was actually called the graveyard of the West in 1819 because so many people who came here trying to move west, they died of cholera and typhoid. So when a group of men said, hey, I think we need a waterworks, Cleveland, Philadelphia, New York, they all have them. How about Louisville? Nobody wanted it. It actually took the Great Fire of 1840 to get the Louisville Water Company. When the bucket brigades didn't work to put out a fire, people thought, you know what, if we had the central supply of water, maybe, maybe we could actually fight a fire. So Louisville Water, although we thought we were starting for public health, we really started because of the community's safety. It took about two years to build the waterworks, most of it by hand, young boys, um, there was some slave labor in building the original reservoir. We opened in 1860, October 16th. The newspapers say that people came down in their horse-drawn carriages, not because they wanted to drink the water, but they wanted to see that grand structure on River Road and they wanted to see what a waterworks did. This is the original pumping station. Um, when water was started back in 1860, this is where it started. There were steam engines in this facility. Uh, back then we had no electricity, so we had to use steam power. Getting people to buy into the notion of pay paying for drinking water was probably one of the bigger hurdles. Also, obviously, building the infrastructure that was required to, to make this facility a reality. Um, and this, this building and the ones also on the grounds here are just a testament to the fact that they realized they needed to, to make places that were going to last. Um, so they were thinking about not only the people of the day when they were making the, the facility, but also for hundreds of years into the future as well. So if you live in the Louisville area, this is where it starts. This is where your drinking water starts. Um, we're here at the main pumping stations for Louisville Water Company, where every day we're taking about 130, 140 million gallons of water from the Ohio River, and in two days we turn it into drinking water. We have a great mix of the old and new at Louisville Water. Um, these are our main pumping stations, but they're also very historic, 1893 and 1919. Um, inside the building is one of only five Aulis Chalmers steam engines left in the United States. Um, when that thing was working, it took 25 men to operate it. Today, you're lucky if you see one or two people here. Drinking water is a manufactured product. Water is a natural resource, but we have to make it into drinking water. And it takes about two days. So the first thing we do is we take water from the Ohio River. We let the mud settle out here at the Crescent Hill Reservoir. And then we begin the chemical treatment. Louisville Water uses chloramine to disinfect your water. And the last thing that happens is it moves through a filter that's made of sand and coal. And that's one part of the process. The other part of the process is we got to get it to you. So the water travels through a network of pipes. And if you stretch them out, it's about 4,100 miles of pipe for Louisville Water. So this is the control room for the Crescent Hill filtration plant. I like to say it's the nerve center. So pulling the water from the Ohio River, um, the chemical additions, the filters, even sending the water out to the community, all that's controlled here inside the control room. You know, Louisville water has survived a lot of natural disasters, just like the city. So where we're standing right now, just a little bit higher here on the screen tower, was the high water mark for the 1937 flood. Um, during that flood, we had 13 employees who were literally trapped here at the pumping station. We brought a steamboat up with coal on it, fired up one of the old steam engines, and we actually were, we were able to keep the city in water during the Great Flood. The facility that we're in, this specific part of the facility, is the New Waterworks Museum. We've been open for about a year here. Um, it's a lot of historical information, a lot of the innovation of Louisville Water can be found here. Uh, folks can come and learn a lot about our history and about what we do today. So this is the Crescent Hill Gatehouse, and this was Charles Hermany's first step in giving Louisville pure water. So he went to Europe to study filtration, and he, the first thing he did when he got back was he built this. 
Um, the Crescent Hill Reservoir in 1879 was a two-day supply of drinking water for Louisville. But in the middle of the reservoir is this, the Crescent Hill Gatehouse. This is a Gothic style architecture building, hand cut on site, and around this you'll see the original valves that controlled the flow of water in and out of the reservoir. We still use those valves today. Louisville Water manages rentals of our original historic landmark as well. It's a beautiful place for a wedding, for a reception, for a private event. So Louisville Water has always been what I consider a good neighbor and part of the community. You can walk around the, the course here at the Crescent Hill Reservoir. We've taken our original structures, which are national historic landmarks, and we've brought them back to the public. So the Waterworks Museum is open for a field trip, or if you just want to get the history geek out of you or the water geek, um, it's actually a pretty cool place to visit. Louisville Water, we're a lifeline to the community. I mean, safe drinking water makes it possible for you to do all the things you think about, but it also makes it possible to have economic development, hospital, rest, restaurants, recreation. So looking ahead to the future, Louisville Water is really focused on being a regional water utility. Um, it's now much more than Louisville. We send water to Hardin County, to Nelson County, Shelby, Spencer, Oldham. We even operate a water treatment plant in southern Indiana. Um, I think the future of water is all about the supply of water. And in Louisville, we're very lucky to have an abundant supply. It's amazing when you think about 160 years ago almost. I mean, they had a vision. They were marketing a product that nobody used. Yet they built these incredible ornate structures that their only purpose was to deliver drinking water. Something that is so simple, yet they made it so elegant.